Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas. And guys, today we'll be discussing involutes. What exactly is an involute? Well, it is the curve traced out by the end of a piece of thread wound or unwound along the perimeter of a polygon or along the circumference of a circle, keeping the string always tight. Now let's understand this with the help of a problem. Here we go. Draw an involute of a circle of 40 mm diameter. Also draw a normal and tangent at a point 100 millimeters from the center of the circle. All right, so we've been given a circle and its diameter has been given as 40 millimeters. All right, now if you try to find the circumference of the circle, it's gonna work out as pi d and putting the values, you'll get this as 125.7. Now guys, if you look at the definition of involute, we speak of wounding or unwounding a piece of thread or a piece of string, all right? But no such string length has been given to us in this particular problem. So we're gonna assume this string length as, or we're gonna assume the string length equivalent to that of the circle circumference, which in fact has been worked out as 125.7. So let's start the construction process. So we have a point uh, which represents the center of this circle uh, having a radius of 20 millimeters. Diameter has been given to us as 40, so the radius is 20, all right. Now let's do four divisions of this circle. Let's make these four divisions eight divisions, something like this, all right. Now let's name each and every point. Starting from this point, we have this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's say this one is P, all right. Now we have to place a string, and right now we'll be placing a string in the form of a line somewhere along here, okay, like this. Now this string is having a length of 125.7, which in fact is equivalent to that of circle circumference. All right, moving ahead, we're gonna divide this line or a string into eight equal parts, and for that, I'll be drawing a line from this point P, okay, at any suitable angle and of any suitable length, like this, all right? I'll be placing arcs of one centimeter radii, like this, eight arcs for eight divisions, all right? This particular point has to be joined with the end of this line, all right, something like this. Keep your mini drafters along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to the seventh point, draw a line. Bring it to the sixth point, draw a line. Keep on doing so until all the points um, have been exhausted and finally you're gonna realize that this string or this line has been divided into eight equal parts. All right, let's name each and every one. Okay, now the next step is to draw tangents from each and every point, from one, two, three, four. Let me show you how this can be done and it can be done very easily with the help of a mini drafter. Let's just say that this is a wheel, okay, and this one, this line over here represents a spoke of that wheel, all right. So we have to draw a tangent at one and, and for doing so, it's pretty easy. Please watch this. Keep your mini drafter like this along this spoke. Okay, one scale of your mini drafter along this spoke so that the other scale is absolutely perpendicular to this one. Then draw a line like this. All right. Same stuff has to be repeated at point two also. It's self-explanatory, man. Okay, so keep on doing so for points three, four, five, six, seven, and you don't need to do this for point P, okay? At point P, this line automatically qualifies as a tangent. All right, moving ahead. Now guys, you need to keep a track of this point P when you try to wound this string along the circumference of this circle, all right? Now, let's say that this much portion of this string has come into contact over here, okay? Then the remaining portion is gonna be from one to P. So with one as center, I'm gonna put an arc over here like this, all right? So this is gonna be point P1. Similarly, let us say that this, on further wounding this string, we've reached point two, okay? So this much portion of the string has come into contact. So what's remaining is from two to P. So with two P as the radii and with now two as the center, cut an arc yet again, this is gonna be point P2, all right? Now from three to P, three as center, cut an arc, P3. Now from four to P, 4SC center, cut an arc, P4, all right? 5 to P, 5SC center, cut an arc, P5. 6 to P, 6 as the center, cut an arc, and this is gonna be P6. Finally, 7 to P, 7 as the center, cut an arc, this is P7, and finally it is going to end over here, and when you join all these points in proper sequence, you're gonna have a curve, which is popularly known as an involute. Now guys, we are supposed to make a tangent and normal at a distance of 100 millimeters from this center, all right? So with this as center and with a radii of 100 millimeters, you have got to cut an arc over here, 
okay so this is this like this point lies at a distance of 100 millimeters from this point from this center in fact so let's join both these points with the help of a line so this line is having a length of 100 millimeters and its center is going to be somewhere here or at a distance of 50 millimeters from this point okay let's have the center this is the center and with this much or this much as the radii let's have a semicircle done now this particular semicircle you see guys is intersecting this circle's circumference somewhere here let's make a point over there and when you join this point with this point over here okay you're gonna have a normal and you know very well how to place a tangent so a line perpendicular to a normal automatically qualifies as a tangent something like this it is going to just touch this curve also okay that's the tangent so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them as quickly as possible and if you find this video tutorial adding value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering graphics or engineering drawing in the best possible way and guys in the upcoming tutorials i'll be taking up a few more cases uh, associated with involutes as in string length more than the circle circumference string length less than the circle circumference i'll be giving you an in-depth analysis of both these cases until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing